everybody, Mitsan here and welcome, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series, Pokemon Soul Silver. Now, I have been saying I've been wanting to do this for, God, I don't even know how long since I started my channel. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the right time to do it, and I feel like now that I'm actually getting back into Pokemon is the perfect time to do it. So this game holds a very special place in my heart because I think I've played through uh, the original Silver version as a kid. I want to say maybe like 20, 30 times. It was my all-time favorite Pokemon game, and it's... Oh, it's just so good. So my goal for this series is to treat it like I would as I did growing up, and that's just go on an adventure, have fun, and I guess experience the game in a different light than what you're, uh, than what you're used to. With all that being said, I'm really, really, really excited to show you guys one of my all-time favorite games, just like I was with Paper Mario, just like I was with Luigi's Mansion, and just like I was with Undertale. And I'm actually really happy you guys get to see where Totodile comes from, because this is the, actually the first game he was introduced in the Pokemon series. Well, the original Silver version, but I'm playing the, the more updated version. So, without further ado, let's play Pokemon Soul Silver. Oh, so nostalgic. I remember when this game uh, actually came out. Uh, whenever they when Nintendo announced that they were making the original Gold and Silver, I was stupid excited. I went to the midnight release. I stayed up all night just waiting and uh, just so hyped. I think I even skipped school that day to play it. Uh, yeah, but no, I, I'm just I'm just super excited. Hello, mom. Professor Elm has been waiting for you, dear. Please go and help him. Okay, mom. Let's go. Hello? <gasps> Meryl! Hello, Meryl! How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Oh, hello! You're my neighbor. What was her name again? I, I, I know in the, uh, in the original game names her, her... In the original games, her name was Crystal. Uh, I, I think she has a different uh, name in this game, though. Well, wow. let's, let's explore. Wow! I haven't played Soul Silver version in a very long time. And it still looks pretty dang good. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Hello, Mr. Dude. What are you gonna tell me? Yo, Max! I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. G cool. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lady. Oh, New Bark Town. Winds of the New Beginning. Oh, I like that. Hello, Miss Lady. I like your bag. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, hello. Professor Elm's Pokemon Lab. Hello, rival. Hmm. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab? What are you staring at? Well, that was rude and uncalled for. All right, let's go say hi to Professor Elm. Oh, I love the beat. Hey, Max, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk around with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Lyra, that's her name. Now we know, it's not Crystal. <laughs> Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It can have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its ball? to see if this brings you any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people. The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. Oh, he's got a phone call. Oh, hey, I just got an email. Or an email. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. <laughs> well, I already know which one I'm picking. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, can you guys already tell which one I'm gonna pick? <laughs> Touch a Pokemon to see what Pokemon is inside. Ooh, we got Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and my boy Totodile, yes! Ah, uh, looks so cool. Do you want Totodile, the water type Pokemon? I do, I do want Totodile. <laughs> Yes! So, uh, before the series got released, I made a com uh, community post on my channel and asking you guys what I should name the Pokemon, uh, as well as my rival, which I'll get into a little bit later. But the winning name for Totodile, <laughs> funny enough, is Ross. So we are going to name my Totodile Ross. S-S. Uh, -S. Cool, and he's a, he's a boy too, so it works out perfectly. Ross, next name you want to give? Yes, it is. Cool. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, 
You should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Max. You can count on me, Elm. And Ross. <laughs> oh, hello. Max, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Oh, hey, we got potions. That was very nice of you, sir. I put potions in my medicine pocket. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Thank you. I appreciate that. We got our first Pokemon. Oh, hey, Lyra. Oh, your marrow's adorable. Max! So you picked to a Totodile. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! I can talk to Ross? I actually forgot you could do that. I forgot this. I think this uh, takes after the Pokemon Yellow version. Oh. Ross doesn't seem used to its own name yet. Who named me what? Fair enough. Alright. Let's go show Ross to mom. That is a weird thing to say. <laughs> hey, mom! Oh, Max! That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, oh! Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Cool. That's pretty much our telephone for the game. The Pokemon Gear, or Pokegear, as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Pokegear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yeah, I remember how. Well, we don't need to go through the tutorial, Mom. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Just power on the Pokegear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of the people you ca can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. This game, game came out in 2010. And the original game came out in 2001. So, uh, actually, I think 2000. So, cell phones were kind of new back then. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Alright, let's go on our Pokemon journey. Yay! Oh. Wait, one second! Oh, oh hey, Elm. <laughs> How's it going? I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Oh, well, that was just conveniently timed because I just got my phone. I'll call you if anything comes up. Can do. Can do, Elm. Alright. Route 29! Let's go. Wonder who we're gonna run into first. That was fast! Oh, a Sentrid! A wild Sentrid appeared. Go, Ross! Alright, you know what? Let's take him down. You scratch. Ooh. Wow, so, ooh, Foresight? Foresight's, uh... I think he just identifies me, right? Yeah, he just identified me. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Why are you identifying Ross? <laughs> Alright. Come on. Oh. Are you not even gonna fight? This is a one-sided battle. Alright. Let's, let's bring it home, Ross. And done. Oh, we got a crit on the last one. Nice. That's a lot of experience. All right. And we're clear of the grass. <laughs> I always try to avoid random encounters as much as I can when the Pokemon game first starts. Because I really want to, like, dive into the story. Uh, oh. Can't avoid them all. Hello, Sentret. Are we going to run from this one? No, we're going we're gonna to beat him up, too. You, you asked for this. Oh, it's a female centric. Was the other one female? I don't know. Oh, this one fought. Oh, it crit me. Ross, hang in there, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. What? It had a berry. Oh, crap. Okay, this one's putting up a fight. All right, we got, we got our first interesting fight. Turns out it was the second fight of the game. All right, come on. Keep using Scratch. We can take him out. I would use Leer, but this isn't really an important battle. Oof. Ross, hang in there, buddy. Can use some scratch. Oh, one more hit. One more hit. I didn't know I didn't know they could have berries. Sometimes Pokemon can uh hold berries or uh, different items on them. I didn't think they would hold them uh hold on to items this early into the game though. Why do I always get a crit at the last hit? We should level up! Yes! 
Yes! Level six! All right, we already got a step ahead of our rival when we meet them. Hey, we learned water gun. Nice, Ross. Nice. And... Hey, we're clear. Cool. Usually I <laughs> tend to get a lot of random encounters. I try not to. I like getting the repels. Oof. All right. Ah, we did it. Yes. No random encounters. Look at the way Ross walks his little waddle. <laughs> so, I know some people are going to disagree with me how I play this game, and I think that's okay, because I like playing Pokemon games differently than others. Uh, since Totodile is my favorite Pokemon, I actually am not going to evolve him, like, throughout the entire game. I'm just going to keep him as a Totodile. I do realize that's a huge handicap on my part, but I st it's, he's my favorite Pokemon, and what can you do? Everybody plays differently, and this is how I'm going to play. Hello, old dude! Hey, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then, follow me. In the original game, you had no, you, like, you had an option to follow him or not. But I guess in this one, they kind of force you to. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. He's faster than me. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Thanks. <laughs> this is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Oh, dude, uh, you're so fast. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh, everybody knows Mr. Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, hey, I'm gonna come say hi to you later. This is the sea, as you can see. <laughs> Some Pokemon are found only in water. Uh, hold on, dude. God, you're so fast. Dude. Here. It's my house. <laughs> For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Got you, didn't I? <laughs> Don't worry, these are brand new. Oh, thanks. Cool. See, in the original Gold and Silver and Crystal games, you couldn't run, so you had to walk everywhere. And now, until you got your bicycle. The instructions read, tap the sprint button on the touchscreen to sprint. Oh, wait, I don't think I'm supposed to read this voice. It also says, hold the B button to down the sprint. Cool. I think we can permanently run now. Hey, we can run! Cool, Ross can keep up too. Speaking of Ross, let's go heal up our Pokemon. I think he's gonna hop on the uh, on the counter. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We can restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to uh, rest your Pokemon? Yeah, get some rest, Ross. Hey, he just oh, he hops in the Pokeball. Oh. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Please come back anytime. Oh, cool. Oh, and he just pops back out again. That's awesome. All right, Ross. Let's head on over to Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh. Oh, what? I just... <laughs> I made it! I forgot about one thing! This is another token from me! Take it! Oh, the guy gent... Oh, we got the map! We have a map now, in case we get lost! <laughs> cool. Select the Poke here on the map to touch select. Okay, map icon. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. It's awesome. Poke here becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you- I wish you luck on your journey! <laughs> He's probably gonna be one of my favorite characters in this playthrough. Route 30. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Ah! Random counter! Who we got? Oh, it's a Weedle! Ooh, we gotta be careful. He can poison me. When you get poisoned, it hurts you outside of battle. At least it does in these gens. We gotta be very careful. Let's use Water Gun. It's our new move. <laughs> it just kinda spits on him. Oh, that, that's the poison thing I was talking about. Don't poison me. Please don't poison me. Okay. We're good. We're good. Alright. Come on. Come on, Ross. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, uh, her out. I apologize. String shot? Oh, that's going to lower my speed. Alright, well, let's try use Slash. as the last one, so don't waste all of our water guns. What? Oh, he goes first now because he lowered my speed. Re. Alright, scratch, and take it care of. You're lucky. You are lucky. 
Alright. What is this? Oh, it's another potion. Good. I was hoping it would have been an antidote in case we would uh Oh. Boss is steadily poking at the ground. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's go see. Alright, we got more grass. Oh! Hey, kiddo! How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Hold it right there. Hey, buddy. It's a little weird. When you follow that path up north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be, because I have something for you! Oh, thank you, strange weirdo who's semi-bald. With the apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector! That was so random. It's an apricorn tree, what I got from it? Oh, it's a cute little animation. It's a green apricorn, I'm assuming it's green? I got a, I got a green apricorn. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no random encounters. Is this the antidote? Yay, okay. In case we get poisoned, we'll be okay. That's kind of what I was worried about, to be honest. Alright. Oh, actually, what's going on over here? Because normally I just run the Mr. Pokemon's. Oh, are they having a battle? What's going on? Go, Ratatata! Tackle! What? This is a big battle. Leave me alone. Okay, dude, sorry. Jeez. God, I'll leave you alone. Mr. Pokemon's house, straight ahead. This dude has his own sign. I want my own sign. Oh, it's getting nighttime. All right. Oh, another tree. It's an apricorn tree. I think this might be a pink apricorn. It's a pink apricorn. <laughs> cool. I wonder what kind of Pokeballs we can make. We're not going to be able to make Pokeballs, I think, until like episode three, possibly. It's going to take a while, but, you know, it's good to start collecting. Oh. You must be Max! I was the one who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier! What are you, what are you doing, dude? Mr. Pokemon? <laughs> this is what I want Professor Elm to examine! Oh, we got the mystery egg! Okay. A friend of mine from Ekriti gave it to me! I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto! I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what it this is! He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Oh, cool, free healing. That'll save me some time. Hey, speaking of Oak, there he is. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Max. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm. So I waited here. Whoa, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You can treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Thanks. Ah! <laughs> you seem to be dependable. How would you like me to help you out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically, rec automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Hey, thank you. It's very kind of you, Oak. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Golden Rod for my usual radio show. Max, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. It's pretty awesome that we got to, you know, meet Professor Oak. And then immediately get his phone number. Like he's pretty he's pretty famous in the Pokemon world. I'm just I'm just saying. Da, 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 da. I love that song. <laughs> nope. Goodbye, Oak. Hello, Mr. Pokemon. Sorry to trouble you. Having you go back and forth, but please make sure to hand that to Professor Elm. We'll do. We can do that. No problem at all. Oh, we got a phone call. Hello, Max? It's a disaster! Uh, it's just... it's just terrible! Oh, what should I do? It... oh, oh no! Please, get back here now! Oh, okay. Alright, uh, let's... let's hurry back. Oh, Professor Elm's okay. 
They're still battling? God, you guys are bad. Alright. Jump! Whoa, look at those sick moves. Alright. Alright, don't worry! We're coming! We're back in Cherry Grove. And now, let's head on back to... You! Hmm. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. We got our first battle! Passerby or boy. Alright. He's got... Wait, Chikorita! Alright, Ross, let's do this. Use Leer! Leer will lower his stats. Make us easier to attack him and hurt him for more. Oh, and he used Growl, so now it just kind of balanced out. Okay. Don't worry, Ross. Use Scratch! Alright, well, that was about a quarter of his health. Ah, he used Growl again. Alright, can't be too safe, so I'm gonna use Leer again. <laughs> Alright, so now we should be balanced out again. Uh, excuse Stop using Growl! Okay, well, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna scratch. See what happens. Ooh, he used Tackle. Oh, he hardly hurt me! You're nothing! Your chicory and got nothing, passerby! Ah! Uh. He's gonna- you can lower my attack all you want. Huh, you're doing okay for someone weak. Alright, come on. Keep using Scratch. Oof. Ross, just take care of this fool already. We got nothing! You can't mess with the dream team! Alright. Last hit. Let's do this. Scratch! Yes! Foe's Chikorita fainted. And we should level up. Level 7! Yes! Cool. Are you happy you won? Nice! Hey, we got 500 bucks! That'll be pretty useful. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer! That was rude. <laughs> Do you even know where you're going? Give it back! That's my trainer card! Ooh. Oh no! You saw my name! Oh, he saw his name. So, if you couldn't guess already, that's going to be this game's rival. And, um... Uh, as I said before, you guys got to pick my starter and rival's name. And if you couldn't guess already, <laughs> since my uh, Totodile's name is now Ross, you're gonna you're gonna see who my rival is in, in just a second. I think it's gonna make a lot of you happy. If you couldn't already tell, just saying. Don't worry, Elm, we're back. What's up? Oh, we got a cop here. Who are you? We're investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it? No, no, dude, it's, it's not me. Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was a red-haired boy looking into the building. There was. Yeah, I'm not a red-haired, wait. <laughs> what, you battled a boy like that? You must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? I did. And our rival's name shall be Shelby, because that's what a lot of you voted on. <laughs> Alright, L-B-Y. Shelby will be our rival for this whole playthrough. I see. So, Shelby is his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Max's assignment is a search for the red-haired individual. Goodbye, police officer. You do absolutely nothing in this game. Max, I'm glad they understand that you are innocent. See you later. Thanks, Lyra. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, um. Oh, Max, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Here you go. There, there was an egg. That's what we found out, dude. <laughs> is that? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out what about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Max, is that true? That's incredible! 
He is superb at seeing the potential of people as traitors. Wow, Max, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League. Champion. Or not. <laughs> Becoming the champion is not all easy, but you can certainly challenge the Violet City's gym. Max, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. I can do that. Mom! Mom, I gotta talk to you! I'm gonna be a Pokemon master! Please! Mom! Mom! Hello! So, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know! Every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money for you? Yes. No. Wait. Yes. You can have some of my money, Mom. <laughs> okay. I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now, go on. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. All right. Well, we got our mom on our side. She's saving my money. We met our rival. Now we just got to take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Lyra, what are you doing? Kind of in the middle of something. There you are. Max, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. No, a tutorial. No. Wait. <laughs> or not? Just, just like that, huh? Was I too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. No, an actual tutorial. Three hours later. <laughs> See? Just like that! It's better to lower your target to HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. You can try all kinds of things to see what works. I'll give you these! Good luck! Cool! We got our first Pokeballs! And I already know which Pokemon we're gonna have in my party, but that's gonna be a secret for when it actually happens. See ya! See ya, Lyra! Alright, let's go see where we're going next. All right, I think the next destination was Violet City? Yeah, it was definitely Violet City. So one of the annoying things about wild encounters is when you run, you have a higher chance of getting encountered, which kind of sucks. Eh, yes, we made it, okay. I think we're getting back to Cherry Grove, and yes, okay. I think they should be done with their Pokemon battle now. Wait, are my Pokemon healed? No, Ross is not. Oh, let's go heal Ross. That's important. <laughs> I do not I do not want Ross to fade, especially if he's gonna be my only Pokemon for a while. Hello! Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to restore your Pokemon? Yes! Get up there, Ross. Do your thing. Get a nice relaxing nap. Heal up. Do whatever you do. What well, actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Uh comments down below. What do you think Pokemon do in their Pokeballs when they get healed? I'm kinda curious. For me, I think they just kind of just kind of sleep, but it's kind of lame. So give me something exciting. All right, Route Thirty. Yeah, Route Thirty. All right, let's see if they are done with their battle. Nope, nope, not wrong, wrong area. Still got one more patch of grass to go through. <clears throat> oh, they're done. Oh, are you gonna battle me now, kid? Oh, you got no idea what you're in for. Let's do this. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. What you got? Oh, youngster Joey? Oh, I already know what he's gonna throw out. Yo, Ratatat, your Ratatat is garbage, dude. Come on, come on, Ross, just use Water Gun. Take out this foo. Oh, wait, he's using Quick Attack. <laughs> and, was that a good hit? Oh, that was about almost half of his health. Why did you just use Quick Attack again? You could have hurt me more. Come on. Tail... Why are you doing Tail Whip? No wonder you lost the Pokemon battle. <sighs> just use Scratch. Get out of here. Fool. And that's another battle done. Ooh, Ross gained 48 experience. Level 8! Do we learn Rage now? I think we might learn Rage. Hey, Ross learned Rage! Congratulations, Ross. Hey, 
Hey, can I get your number? I'll ring you up to battle. Do we want to give Joey our number? Uh... Alright, we'll give it to Joey. And, it, okay, if you are familiar with Pokemon uh, Soul Silver and Heart Gold, let me know whose numbers you want me to collect. Because I, I didn't want to collect any, but I think we'll, we'll start with Joey and we'll see how annoying he gets. You can have my number, Joey. I'll rig you whenever I get the urge to battle. I'm sure I'm sure you'll do great, son. Another battle. Let's hop right back into it, man. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then I have to battle. You are challenged by youngster Mickey. Oh, we gotta pay. Oh, it's the same dude he was fighting before. All right. Well, here. Let's just uh, let's do Water Gun again. Rage is a good move, but it's for more long-term battles because the more you get hurt. Whoa! Just took about one hit, Ross. The more you get hurt in battle with Rage, the more uh, damage Rage does. <laughs> oh, you're gonna send out a Rattata? It's okay. All right, we'll just use Water Gun again. This should hurt him more than half health now because we've leveled up. Oh, oh, we got a crit! Yeah, go Ross! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's strange. I won before. Yeah. Yeah, you won before you, but you didn't battle me. All right, let's keep on going. Ooh, looks like there's another trainer battle right here. Should we should we battle him? Yeah, I'll battle him. I need all the experience we can get for the gym battle. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Ooh, you were challenged by bug catcher Don. All right, Don, what you gonna throw at us? Caterpie? <laughs> we got a Totodile, man. And that Totodile's name? is Ross. Keep on using Water Gun, Ross. That's all we gotta do. Oh, it didn't one-hit him. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna go first now because of String Shot. Hmm, it's gonna be annoying. It's alright, we can still counter it. I don't wanna waste all of my uh, Water Guns, so we're gonna use a couple of Scratches. Yeah, take that! Woo! Level 9. Ross, you're doing great, man. Pat on the back. Pat on the head. <laughs> Sent out another Caterpie? Is that all you have is Caterpies, dude? You gotta expand your horizon. Oh, we one hit that one! Ross, you're on a roll right now, man! Nice. Very happy with this. Ah, too strong! That's because we got Ross on our team, man. Totodile's the strongest Pokemon to have ever lived! Route 31. Alright. Now the patch of grass, let's do this! Yes! <laughs> Got through without any random encounters. Hey, I found another potion. Alright, let's see. What's up, dude? <laughs> I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Appreciate you telling that us. Hey, it's another apricorn tree. This one looks purple, gray? Oh, it's a black apricorn. Cool. I might make a dusk ball, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. Hop over that. And further. Here we go. Okay. Route 31, west to Violet City. Cool. We made it to the first city! Oh, Lyra, what are you doing? I just made it! I knew it was you, Max. How'd you get past me? For, here's something new for surprising me, Max. The Versus Recorder? This is the Versus Recorder. Must be a new item. The Versus Recorder can record your Pokemon battles. I have to go now. I won't let you pass me again. Let's go, Meryl. Oh, so I can record, like, dope battles. But I'm, I'm already recording dope battles. Kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> hey, Violet City, we made it! Yes! Alright. Let's go heal up our Pokemon. So now that we've made it to Violet City, we have two specific things to do here. And one of those is to defeat the gym leader, who's in there, right in that building right there. And the last but not least, we have to do Sprout Tower, which we'll actually be doing first. So this is where I'm going to end off the first episode. I know it's a bit short, but the first episode, it's just covering our bases and introducing everybody to the world of Pokemon. Tomorrow will be episode two, where we take on the gym leader and we'll make it as far as we can. 
But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. I really hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun collabing with so many people, so many talented artists making this series. And I really hope you guys enjoy it because this is a really big passion project for me. And I just want to make it the best I can. Like, no one ever did. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mitsan. That's Ross. And we appreciate your existence. Goodbye!